What if I told you you had already won the game? Welcome to episode number five of the Ian Luber's journey. And today I want to tell you about a really, really interesting conversation that I had with a very good friend of mine earlier today. So I was talking to him about the idea of selflessness and should our selflessness, does it necessarily come from a place of selfishness? In other words, is the reason that I'm willing to help other people simply because it makes me feel good? And it was a really interesting conversation. And at one point I presented this perspective of, you know, I like to live in a way where I always give more value than I receive. I like to think of it as creating this massive, massive snowball of value as I go along. And then every now and then I just extract pieces of it, but never in my entire lifetime could I receive as much value back as I put out. And that's the way that I like to think about the value I create, just creating so much more value than I could ever receive back. That's how I'd been thinking of it. And he said, he said something interesting. He said, I disagree with that. I don't think that's the right way to look at it. And this is what he said. And what he said, I think, is something that it's worth reminding ourselves of every day. And he said, if you think about the odds of being a, a human, period, something like one in four trillion, some absurd odds. Gary Vaynerchuk uh, talks about this if you follow him. But the odds of, of living in America, the odds of living in this time period, the odds of, for me, being a white male and incredibly, you know, I, I have privileges that I have to recognize. There are a massive, massive number of things. You can even think about it from a perspective. I've heard Tony Robbins talk about this. Simply your beating heart. Like, you, you didn't do anything to deserve this. You didn't get this heart because you worked hard. You didn't get it because you proved you had enough merit to have a heart. You just have it. And it just pumps tireless for, tirelessly for you day after day. And the air we breathe, if we flip to this perspective, we've already won. We've already won the lottery. Every aspect of our life is something that we're capable of being grateful of. And anything we do beyond that is bonus. The, the wealth we try to accumulate, the goals we try to accomplish, they're games. They're fun games and they're important because they give us meaning. But don't let yourself be confused that you're somehow not winning. You're somehow not in a good place if you don't accomplish your goals. This is something that I've been reminding myself of constantly and it's something I've struggled with massively in the past. But there's a deep truth in here that if we go down to, or if we go up to the most macro level and we look at our life in the context of, of the time we live in and the benefits that we've been granted and all the things that we didn't do anything to deserve, the wars fought before us, all of the single actions taken by our ancestors, the cavemen hunting off wild boars all the way up to, you know, the great civilizations and all of the, the work that has been accumulated, we're building on a foundation of value that we can never, never match. It's an ocean and we're a droplet. And when you realize this, your perspective shifts. And for me, it doesn't make sense to think of this, this snowball of value. As beautiful of, as a metaphor that that is, it's wrong. Because we've been granted an unbelievable amount of value. The place that we're starting from is so much higher because of the people before us that we will never, 
be able to pay it back. And therefore, when we give, I like to try to give from a place of pure gratitude, knowing that I can never, never pay back all that I've been received. But I'd better damn well try. Take care, guys.